Whether you're new to aviation or an experienced pilot looking to advance your skills, Go Vertical Aviation has you covered. With an excellent learning atmosphere and a staff committed to excellence in education, Go Vertical Aviation will customize a learning program just for you. For more information, go to GoVerticalAviation.com or call 256-412-5226. Be sure to follow Go Vertical Aviation on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Don't just go. Go vertical. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Many of you have now heard the term stepped-up basis and it possibly being eliminated, which is very concerning. I encourage you to schedule your free 15-minute consultation with attorney Harlan Mitchell to find out what you can do to protect yourself and your family. Schedule your appointment with attorney Harlan Mitchell by calling 256-216-9884 or by going to BamaEstatePlanning.com. Do it today. Would you like enhanced energy, better moods, less fatigue, help with allergies, better sleep, mental clarity, or just want improvement of your overall immune health and well-being? Do you need to recover from intense activities, workouts, or sports? Then IV therapy at the Drip Factor inside Trinity Medical Center is right for you. Our IV drips are filled with nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that will help your body replenish, restore, and achieve your wellness goals. For more information, visit trinity-medicalcare.com and schedule your appointment today at Trinity Medical Center, located at 500 Governor's Drive. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The solid biblical foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. Hey y'all, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and you, yeah, you, can make a huge Don't difference in somebody's life. You just may not have figured out how yet, and that's why you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hi, this is Maggie Peterson. I played Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Hi folks, this is Ricky Skaggs, and you're listening to The Mark Mark White Show. Hello, I'm Gene Stallings, and this is the Mark White Show. Get off the sideline and get involved and make a difference in your community. You are listening to the Mark White Show. My daddy is your host, Mark White. 
Welcome to a Tuesday edition of the Mark White Show. I am so glad that you could join us on this Tuesday afternoon as we talk about the subject of adoption. As I've mentioned before, I'm a second generation beneficiary of adoption thanks to my grandparents who drove to Kentucky to pick up three children and take them in as their own. Right now, I have on the line with me Jeremy and Tiffany Burns, who have had the adoption experience, and I wanted them to be able to share about this experience as we try to help Anastasia and Jonathan Carswell on their adoption journey through Sacred Selections and Sacred Selections North Alabama Chapter. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Jeremy and Tiffany Burns. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Good to be with you, man. Glad to have you both, and I know that adoption is very important to you guys. As I just mentioned, you have adopted yourselves. Yes, we have. That has been one of the most wonderful blessings that we have experienced in our lives. You know, you took that path to decide, you and Tiffany, to adopt. What was it that made you want to adopt a child? Well, it, it, it's funny and interesting, Mark. Um, when me and Tiffany first got married 15 years ago, uh, we always knew that one day, Lord willing, we wanted to have a couple biological children, but we always knew, uh, Lord willing, we wanted to adopt one day and, uh, just everything always happens and works out in the Lord's time. And, uh, just a little over about a year and a half ago, me and Tiffany just knew it was the right time. Everything just fell into place. And, uh, God, God's blessed us ever since. One of the things that has helped many of my friends, people that I have known over the years as they pursue adoption has been Sacred Selections. And this organization has been a real help to families who want to adopt because as me and April were talking about the other day, the cost of adoption is unreal when you get into how much it actually costs to be able to take in a child and care for a child or children. Yes, that's, that's so true, and Sacred Selections will always have such a special place in our hearts. Um, we have been blessed with several friends who have had Sacred Selections be a part of their family as well and helping them adopt their children, and it seems like, you know, God just put these people in our lives at just the right time, and, you know, we were introduced to Dana, the founder of Sacred Selections, and she was just a wealth of knowledge and help um, on our adoption journey. Um, I I don't know what we would have done without having Sacred Selections help us leading us to our daughter. It was just a tremendous help to have their support because you're right. Adoption is a huge financial um, responsibility. And I just feel so blessed to have been um, partnered with Sacred Selections to have their help along our journey to our daughter and not only that, but Sacred Selections also was just such a wonderful family. And so many people that we didn't even know through Sacred Selections, we felt their prayers. Um, you know, throughout the whole process, it was a very prayerful journey leading us to our daughter. And it was a very faith-building journey. But I will never forget that day that we got the phone call. It was a Sunday right after morning services. And I checked my phone and I had a phone call and it said, your daughter's being born right now. Get on the next flight to Arizona. And so we immediately put our entire lives on hold and started throwing things in suitcases and booked the very next flight to Arizona. And thankfully, we landed in Arizona at 2 a.m. And at 3 a.m., we had our daughter in our arms at the hospital. But on that journey there, I will never forget the over overwhelming love and support we felt from our Sacred Selections family all over the world. Um, I know it was posted on social media about our situation because our daughter was born five weeks early um, because her birth mother had the flu and dangerously high blood pressure. So she was born via C-section. So it was all a very quick process. And we had hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people praying for us and our family and our daughter. And I just the love we felt and the prayers we felt was just just an indescribable feeling to know that that many people were thinking about and praying to God for our family and for our daughter. And she was born perfectly healthy. And I know exactly why that was. God, God had been taking care of her that entire time. And 
that was attributed to our wonderful Sacred Selections family and just the immense love that we, we felt from, from that entire organization. As you mentioned, Tiffany, that indescribable feeling, of course, it remains with you. The Sacred Selections community, the family, as you've described, is a very pay-it-forward community. So you and Jeremy benefited from Sacred Selections. You want to help others who also want to adopt. Oh, absolutely. For, for our entire lives, we will always support Sacred Selections in helping other families that want to add children um, through adoption to their family because we have experienced just indescribable joy through this blessing of adding our daughter uh, along with our other two older daughters. Um, she's completed our family and the joy we have felt from her and that she's brought to our family, there are no words and we will always support sacred selections and adoption. And we're just so excited about this next opportunity with our upcoming fundraiser to support the Carswell family. And speaking of that, Jeremy, with the, Carswell family and this fundraiser coming up for Anastasia and for Jonathan and their family, you have decided to pay it forward to help with this event. Tell us about what you decided to do to help the Sacred Selections North Alabama chapter with this fundraising event, this drive-by dinner that's taking place on April the 30th. Well, something that we want to do again, just because there were so many wonderful people, uh, organizations and stuff like that, that uh, help out with safe selections. We've been very blessed. Uh, uh, my company, DT Homes, uh, which is named after my three daughters, uh, we we got this opportunity to be able to, uh, you know, step in and help out, and we were just so thankful for uh, the opportunity to do that. This event. The food will be Lawler's Barbecue and Nothing But Cakes is joining in for this effort, which is taking place Friday, April 30th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Athens Bible School parking lot. It is a drive through dinner. In just a few minutes, I'll be talking to Anastasia Carswell about this event that's taking place, and we want to try to support however we can. And Tiffany, what would be your message to people to purchase tickets to be a part of this to help the Carswells as they pursue adoption themselves now? Yes, yeah, so we have made it super easy. Um, there is a link that is posted on Facebook, and all you have to do is just click that link, and you'll order your dinner, and everything will be ready for you. You won't even have to get out of the car. You'll just come to the Athens Bible School parking lot, and there will be signs posted at the entrance, and you'll just drive around and pick up each item at each of the stations, and there will also be another opportunity if you would also like to make a monetary donation um, to benefit the Carswell adoption. Um, but like you said, it'll be some great food and some great dessert um, and really just a, a great reason to come out and support adoption and have a meal that you don't have to cook that night. So it's just a very easy process. You just start with the link on Facebook and place your order to pre-order your meal for your family that night. And it'll be a great opportunity to help another family add another little blessing to their family. Jeremy, she's a natural saleswoman. Did you know this? <laughs> I, I did. I, I absolutely did. <laughs> well, she has helped me uh, tremendously with everything that I've done in the 15 years we've been married. So truly blessed there. Outstanding. Well, I love you both. Love your family and appreciate the fact that you've been able to join me today to talk about this special experience that you had through adoption and the fact that you not only enjoy it yourself, but want others to be able to benefit. And as I mentioned, Anastasia and Jonathan Carswell are in the process of adoption. April 30th, there is a drive-in dinner, and we want people to be able to get those tickets, be a part of this special effort as we help the Carswells to adopt through Sacred Selections. So thank you, Jeremy and Tiffany Burns, for joining me here on the Mark White Show today. Oh, thank you so much for having us, Mark. Thank you, Mark. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Folks, when we come back, we're going to have Anastasia Carswell on the program, and I hope you'll stick with us. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. A little wink, a pat on the back, a big old hug, a little laugh. We can make a difference, all we have to do is try. Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life Let's all do something good today 
Whether you're new to aviation or an experienced pilot looking to advance your skills, Go Vertical Aviation has you covered. With an excellent learning atmosphere and a staff committed to excellence in education, Go Vertical Aviation will customize a learning program just for you. For more information, go to GoVerticalAviation.com or call 256-412-5226. Be sure to follow Go Vertical Aviation on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Don't just go. Go Vertical. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta, Nashville, and Pensacola. Boutique Air Service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. The best way to buy, sell, and experience land is with Jonathan Berryhill. For your farm, ranch, recreational, hunting, timber, and acreage needs, contact National Land Realty Professional Jonathan Berryhill at 256-874-7354 or email at jberryhill at nationalland.com. Be sure to follow Jonathan Berryhill with National Land Realty on Facebook. This is your land. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome. Or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. Welcome back to the Mark White Show. This is a Tuesday edition of the Mark White Show. As I am talking about adoption, we're highlighting adoption. We've done this several times with Sacred Selections and Sacred Selections chapters across the country as we try to help families who are pursuing adoption to help children. We want to try to help however we can. And as I mentioned in the first segment, I love the fact that I'm a second generation beneficiary of adoption. I'm here because of that. In the last segment, I spoke to Jeremy Burns and his wife, Tiffany, about their adoption experience, and we talked about the fact that they benefited from sacred selections, and because of that, they want to help other families and pay it forward. And we talked about Anastasia and Jonathan Carswell and their adoption journey. And right now, I have on the line with me Anastasia Carswell. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Anastasia. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. (laughs) Always glad to have you. And this is a very special time for your family as you are on this adoption journey to bring a child into your home, to take a child as your own and love on that child and give this child opportunities. 
And I love that. I love what your family's doing. And I'm so glad that you have such a great team of people rallying around you during this time for this effort. Yes, we're we are very blessed with the number. I can't I don't even know the number of people that have just been there, either just emotional support or, you know, just any kind of support, honestly. It's it's been really really humbling. <laughs> I understand. And when you think about the fact that you and Jonathan, you have a son already. And yes. what is it that caused you both to want to adopt? So adoption is it's really, really important to me because I'm adopted and my brother is adopted as well. Um, and then it's like it's, it's throughout our family crazy, like. My mom's side of the family, they have a lot of adoption, you know, dating back really far, you know, kind of like your family. Um, her grandparents took in kids, you know, that were family members and adopted them and raised them. And then um, Jonathan's family, his little brother's adopted. So it's just, it's always, you know, Jonathan and I have been together for so long. And even before we got married, it was something that it wasn't even a question. It was like, all right when are we going to adopt? <laughs> so Understood. And the question is how, because as we yeah. mentioned in the first yes. segment, I was talking to Jeremy and Tiffany, the expense of adoption. It's pretty remarkable what it costs to adopt a child, to take a child. You have to have yes. some help sometimes to be able to do that financially. Very much so. Adoption, there are very few people who can, you know, outright do that. You know, they usually people have to make payments. And, you know, with adoption, you don't get that option of making payments or anything, you know. So it's a lot. <laughs> well, and speaking of a lot, it's a huge undertaking to take on another individual to raise and nurture an individual, take them into your home as your own. And one of the things that I think about, Anastasia, is my grandparents took me in. It was an official adoption, but they had guardianship of me. There were a lot of comments that people would make growing up, although they intended well, they meant well. You ought to be thankful that your grandparents took you in, and I was. I was very grateful, but I felt like I was theirs. Right. I think, um, I, I, I'm glad you brought that up. So, something my mom had always said, you know, because people would be like, oh, those babies are so blessed to have you, you know, and my mom would always say, you know, I'm blessed to have them. They're teaching me lessons that I would not have learned otherwise. So it's really, you know, it's very, um, it, I, I like to think of adoption as a teaching experience for myself, you know, and it, I think it's really important to not say those things to adoptive parents because then you can cause people to, you know, like you said, like the children feel separated from, um, you know, they don't feel like, that parent's actual child, even though they are, it's just hard for people to actually kind of see that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, they're certainly yours. And once yes. you adopt, they are your child. Yes. I believe that's a good message for people listening right now is to think about adoption as they have become part of the family. They are part of that unit. Oh, for sure. I, I like to, um, I, I think a really good way to put it, you know, is like how God has adopted us into his family. You know, we don't, we're not just, we're not just like these people he takes care of. No, we're like actually his family when he adopts us into his family. And if you ever made somebody feel like, oh, you're not God's child, you know, that would, that would hurt them. So you have to think of it in that aspect too, you know, that's just a good way I like to explain it because I know people... When I was growing up, it was like, that's not really your parents. Like, what about your real parents? And it's like, these are my real parents. Those people who have nurtured me and loved me. Yes. They are my real parents, you know? That's exactly how I felt about it. And I just wanted to bring that up because I think it is a good subject to talk about since we're talking about adoption is how we respond as a community when someone right. decides to adopt so that we understand how we should approach the family, how we should approach the child, they should feel completely 100% a part of that family and welcome. Yes, 100%, 100%.
Well, let's talk about some of the things that are happening because of this great family called Sacred Selections and what yes. they're doing to help financially to help adopt. Yeah. Um, I want to say, too, you know, Sacred Selections, they are helping us financially, but they have been an incredible emotional support from the get-go, too. I, I want to say that, too. They have been all-around supportive. So. <laughs> We have on April 30th a drive through dinner, which is a unique way to fundraise. I'm excited about it. It's Athens Bible School where you attended school. Right. You get to go back to your roots <laughs> I know. to have a fundraiser. I like it. Yes, that's, and that is, it's just kind of come full circle here, you know, because I did. I went to ABS from kindergarten to senior year. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's kind of crazy that. That, but I feel like that's just how that family kind of works, you know, that whole, the ABS family and all of that. That's just kind of how that works. You know, it's always full circle. When we think about the fact that you're in Troy, Alabama, and yeah. the people all the way in Athens, Alabama are still very supportive of you and Jonathan and your family and want to see you be able to adopt. I just think it's a wonderful thing to be able to come back home and to be a part of this effort to help you guys as you move forward with this adoption. Yes, I, that has been, you know, what has been so, I guess, humbling, you know, it's like, I live, you know, four hours away from Athens, and I don't know, it's kind of like, you know, you think people forget you, you know, when you move away and stuff like that, but just the amount of support that's come out of Athens has been phenomenal it's been amazing you know um but, you know with my mom she's been doing that cheesecake fundraiser and the number of people that has you know helped with that in any way has been incredible too so i had no earthly idea anastasia how long it took to make a cheesecake <laughs> until you revealed that information on facebook so hats off to your mom right for this great effort yeah, with cheesecake like I couldn't, I couldn't do this show without mentioning her because she has been working like crazy for the last, I don't know, I guess two months now, and she's not done yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> does she know that? <laughs> I, I think she, I think, yeah, yeah, she does. She's got a whole <laughs> list. That is, she's got a whole list of people she's got to make these things for. So, and I have to say. Every single one of those people. <laughs> oh, I think it's great. I noticed her last post, she was talking about making little cheesecakes. And she said, this oh, is the yeah. last post I'm making. So obviously she has a long list of cheesecakes to make. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> We're really excited about that. Going back to um, APS and stuff like that. That's going to be, that's going to be um, very nostalgic. We want people to know that it is taking place April the 30th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time at Athens Bible School parking lot. Lawler's Barbecue and Nothing Bunt Cakes will be catering this meal, and it's courtesy of Sacred Selections Fundraiser in honor of the Carswell family, the drive-by dinner. Can you tell people how to purchase tickets? Okay, so... If you go to the Sacred Selections North Alabama um, chapter on Facebook, um, then they have a link where it, you can go down and you can purchase tickets on that through that link. If you're not on Facebook and you're not in Athens, Alabama, and you're unable to support the fundraiser, the drive-through fundraiser, you can actually support Jonathan and Anastasia's pursuit of adoption by going to sacredselections.org, clicking the donate button, and then scrolling down where it tells you how to sponsor an adopting couple. And you can call 916-770-0336 to specifically contribute to the Carswell adoption. Yeah, we have another fundraiser too. Be the, we're going to be at the National Zoo May 1st. They had added us to the Middle Tennessee one, which we didn't know about until just recently. It's for two two families, um, and we're the second family. And so you can buy tickets. There's a op 
Selection. You can go to that link on the Middle Tennessee page on Facebook. So the Sacred Selections Middle Tennessee page. We're really excited because DJ can be involved. In, in <laughs> I love that, that. a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> it's called so. Wild About Adoption. It's actually the tenth annual event, which is really cool. And for people who want to go, the website they can check out if they're off of Facebook. They can go to M I D. TNSSWild.GiveSmart.com. They can get tickets there. And also, if they're outside of the area and can't make it to the zoo, then they can donate that way as well. I'm very excited for DJ that he's going to get to enjoy the Nashville Zoo. That's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited. Um, we haven't told him just yet. So it's going to be <laughs> kind of like a little surprise for him because he is crazy about animals right now. <laughs> Very cool. Well, Anastasia, I hope that everything continues to go well. I know that you have great support. You have a great support system around you as you and Jonathan are in the process of adoption, helping to make this happen. I love this idea, and I appreciate both of you and your family. Known your family a long time. I posted about your grandparents the other day, commented when you talked about Mm -hmm. your grandparents, they were very important to me as well. Loved the Georges and even Johnny, that crazy guy. So (laughs) 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 we've, uh, we've, we've enjoyed your family for many years. So I appreciate you and Jonathan and your desire to adopt and want to help however I can through the Mark White show and just know that we're here to help. And you have a lot of people out there who are ready, willing and able to support you and Jonathan as you pursue adoption. Thank you so much. So, but thank you for all you're doing to help so many families, you know, uh, get the word out about adoption in general. It's, it's so important. It's really important. So, <laughs> Well, thank you. We appreciate both Jeremy and Tiffany Burns for joining us in the first segment and Anastasia for joining us in the second segment. Again, I hope that you'll go to Sacred Selections North Alabama on Facebook You can support the effort, the drive-in dinner, which is taking place at Athens Bible School on April the 30th. You can find out more information there. Also, if you would like to donate through sacredselections.org. Anastasia, thank you again for joining me here on the Mark White Show today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. When we come back, we're going to have a brand new episode of Your Friend Lisa Ann from Lisa Ann Posey. I hope you'll stick with us. You're listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. again. It's your friend Lisa Ann. This letter is to the friend who asked me about heaven. I titled this poem, Story Time. Close your eyes and imagine a place where there is no need for constellation or fireflies because there is no night, where love never runs out and there's always more to give and receive, where your favorite song is always playing and it never gets old where you can hang out with your best friend all the time because time never ends. And time is thought of only as a mystical land that is obsolete. And you're forever in the light with sunbeams glistening all around. You ask me why I obsess over death, and I respond, I don't. I obsess about living. And if you are confused about the two, then come sit next to me as I tell you about someone that loves me. If you would like to see the verses that were thought of in the making of this poem, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook at The Dramatic Flower. And until next time, remember, always light, always love, always hope. Your friend, 
Hello there, everybody. This is DJ Svoboda with the Imagine Friends of Imagineville, dedicated to spreading autism acceptance and autism inclusion. And you're listening to the Mark White Show. Hi, everybody. This is DJ Thomas. You know, raindrops may be falling on your head, but on Kyla's corner, she's living life sunny side up. You are my sunshine, my homie. This is Kyla Carter of Kyla's Corner. You can hear my segment every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on the Mark White Show. Remember to tune in every Saturday and always live life sunny side up. Please don't take my sunshine away. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. If you like hickory smoked ribs that fall apart at the slightest pull, or barbecue shoulders that are so slow smoked each tender bite melts in your mouth, then you are going to love Baby Jack barbecue baby jack's barbecue in bartlett and arlington try the barbecue chicken beef brisket sandwich barbecue potato it is huge or the baby jack trio pork turkey or beef brisket sliders you like wet ribs they like dry ribs get one slab that has them both catering baby jacks can feed a family or an army drive in drive through order online or come in and set them in baby jack's barbecue in bartlett at highway 70 in appling or in arlington at highway 70 just a block west of 385 Hello, my name is Christian Martinez. I'm a rising senior at Athens Bible School. My school is great because of the wonderful environment in which students can grow and flourish. We have great academics that include the university preparatory diploma and dual enrollment courses that lead to an associate's degree before high school graduation. All my teachers and the school's employees are Christians who are devoted to the welfare of students. We have an excellent student body, competitive sports program, and study the Bible first thing every day. It's a great place. Please consider joining us at ABS next year, or give that special child in your life the great opportunity I have. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. Once again, we appreciate Jeremy and Tiffany Burns for joining us here on the show today, as well as Anastasia Carswell. We wish the Carswell family well on their adoption journey. We also appreciate the brand new episode from your friend, Lisa Ann. If the Mark White Show is making a difference in your life, I hope that you'll share it with your friends, your neighbors, and your family. Let them know about the Mark White Show and what we're trying to do to make a difference in our community. I encourage you to follow the Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and also subscribe to the Mark White Show podcast via TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, or on YouTube. You have been listening to a Tuesday edition of the Mark White Show, and this is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Ah, these are my kind of people.